California Corner is delving even deeper into grisly discoveries like this one in Cape Coral. Decapitated livestock popping up in people's neighborhoods. And it turns out this is just the latest of very uh, several similar incidents in the city. Four in your corners, Jillian Otto reporting last night that somebody recently found two headless goats and a headless chicken inside a canal right along Surfside Boulevard. Now she's speaking with a woman who's sharing a similar story and looking into whether the animals may have been used as sacrifices in spiritual practices like Santeria. Jillian? Well, Amy Patrick, Voodoo and Santeria are known to blend Catholic rituals with African ones and have been known to involve animal sacrifice. After talking to investigators and neighbors, we're learning that may be the case here. So I visited a few shops that sell items used for those practices. Take a look at this photo. It's a goat head, a Cape Coral woman says she recently found in her front yard. She didn't want to speak on camera, but believes it's linked to Santeria or some type of religious animal sacrifice. And she isn't alone. Just a few days ago, teenagers were hanging out along this canal when they found two decapitated goats and a chicken. We're all animal activists, so we, we like take these really seriously. They called police. This is a great example of if you see something that's suspicious in the neighborhood, go ahead and notify us um, and perhaps we can get out there in time to catch the person who's doing the illegal dumping. But is this really part of some kind of animal sacrifice? I went straight to religious goods stores to find out. So I'm just trying to find an expert. Would you either of you be willing to talk about like the okay. religion? Despite selling items for voodoo, the owners of Botanica Seven Potencies say they couldn't comment. So I also stopped by Botanica La Senora Blanca in Cape Coral. I was told by the woman in the store her saints and spirits didn't allow her to talk on camera. Hearing that people could potentially be doing voodoo or some kind of um, religious sacrifice, is that shocking or surprising? It's honestly really, it's, it takes like a toll kind of because it's like really, it's, it's scary. He may think it's scary, but the practice is protected under the First Amendment. Cape Police say sacrificing the animal isn't illegal, but Cape Police say disposing of the animal this way is. And it's also a health hazard. Remains of an animal left behind like that can cause a problem for residents. It can attract coyotes, it can attract buzzards, it can attract alligators who are going to feed on an easy meal. So if it's near a canal, it's something that you should be wary of if you, if you see that. And authorities tell me if something like this happens to you, you should always report it to police and then call 311 to get the animal carcasses removed. And we have all that information for you on our website, fox4now.com. Jillian Idol, Fox 4 in your corner. All right, thank you, Jillian. Tomorrow, we 